Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Diary, where I give you guys the latest the dabbit and air tip news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Oz, and I'm a man of a all right now. There is one big bomb show to drop this week, alongside two other stories. The other one I'm just very excited about because, well, as you all may know, it's one of my most anticipated movies in the next couple of years. But this other particular thing that when I heard it, that why I love this movie, I don't know why it's happening. But otherwise, guys, let's kick things off by starting off this week's news show by talking about Fast X, the newest installment of the Fast and Furious franchise and the reason why i'm talking about this is because well guys it seems that fast x one of the biggest movies to be coming out this year which was originally going to be known as a two-parter apparently guys fast x will now be a trilogy of movies and one single story. Vin Diesel, who was on a red carpet, I believe in Rome, for the red carpet premiere of Fast X, was saying that, hey, this was supposed to be a two-part finale, and to the studio saw this, and then they asked, can this be a three-part finale? So yes, guys, it came from the horse's mouth himself, Vin Diesel, that Fast X will be a trilogy. And how do I personally feel about this? Honestly, I don't really know how I feel about this one. I was not a fan of Fast and Furious 9, F9, Fast 9, just Fast and Furious 9. I was not a fan of the movie whatsoever. If it wasn't for old in 2021, F9 would have possibly been my worst movie of that year. Like, I did not enjoy F9 almost at all. It was originally supposed to be only two parts, but now they're making it a three parter. I mean, don't get me wrong to you all. I originally want this franchise to end, but at the same time, guys, who knows? What if, and I mean, that's why I say this to you all, what if I end up liking Fast X and what if I don't mind a three part trilogy? I'm something for a fun movie at this point. I hope it's good. And if so, great. If and I'm going to be dreading Fast X. And it's two sequels even more so. Remember how I mentioned earlier how there was something that I read that even though I love the first movie, I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. And speaking of which, guys, that is Freaky Friday, the Jimmy Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan movie, which, yes, I think that's a great movie. I will never forget seeing that in the movie theater with my dad and my brother, and I'm pretty sure we're... The few males and a female dominant movie there because Freaky Friday looked great when I was a kid. And in fact, I actually thought it was a great, I mean, a great movie. So apparently, get this, you guys. Freaky Friday is getting a sequel. And even more interesting, Jimmy Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan are returning. I believe they're just starting to develop the script at the moment. All that I'm aware of is that Jimmy Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan are returning in the role, so I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know if this is an early digital development, but all I know is that it is very interesting knowing that there's a Freaky Friday sequel. I mean, what are they going to do? Have the body switch again? The fact that they're making a sequel to a film that came out, I believe, the mid-2000s, if I'm not mistaken, and they want to make a sequel to that, finally... I just don't see it personally, but hey, you know what? Like I said to you guys earlier, what are your things that have happened? I just want a good movie. I'm hoping for good things. Moving on to our last bit of movie news this week, guys, and that is bringing us the latest update of Superman Legacy, which I cannot tell you all how excited I am. I mean, heck, I have been over the moon excited, especially knowing that James Gunn is not only writing, but also directing the film. I believe they're just starting to look at casting, but the most important update we've gotten so far is a shooting date. And according to James Gunn, and I believe it was Sean Gunn during a Wired Autocomplete interview, that James Gunn has confirmed that Superman Legacy will start shooting January of next year. And that's actually pretty soon as far as where I mean, they're like, what now, 13? 15 months away from the start of shooting now as far as i'm aware the film is i believe in pre-production the script is done so the wga strike has no impact on the script but the thing is if james gunn wanted to rewrite the film he couldn't at the moment but hey who knows maybe the strike will end very very soon knowing the superman legacy starts shooting very very soon i cannot wait 
bring this movie on as soon as humanly possible. So fucking excited for this one. That's going to wrap it up for this week's show. Please comment on this down below starting off. How do you all feel about Fast 10 being a three-part finale? Also, when it comes to a Freaky Friday sequel, where do you think a story could go for that? And also, knowing the Superman legacy starts shooting in Louis. 13 months at this point. I right, except for the film of more so. Let us know below. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see for previous two new shows, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until week's new show goes live, we'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful week, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.